Hey folks, Steve Cruz, fishing the Ozarks. It's June 12th. We set seven traps last night. Water temperature has increased drastically in the last two weeks. We've had some real warm days. I was setting the traps last night. I think the water temperature was like 82 degrees. And uh, just two weeks ago on Memorial Day weekend, the water temperature was like 65 degrees. And we did pretty good that time. And uh, so I'm anticipating some good a good haul this, this time. So, uh, Got a long run going down to a kind of a, a good area that I like. And we pulled two traps last night after about a one hour soak. No, it was about two hour soak and, and got, uh, you know, 10, 15 crawdads in two hours. So I uh, had a little snack last night on them and left, put them back in and we're going to go see how they do today. So come along with us. I think this is going to be a good haul. So peace out. Got a few. This is just a baby trap, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I pulled uh, about that many out of here last night, too, so that's kind of cool. I got to put them in the live well today because I forgot my cooler. But yeah, that's a good haul for a little trap. There's a big boy in there. A couple of them. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Oh man. Heck yeah, look at him. You say no to you. Look at that! <laughs> Not monsters, but nice ones. Hey. There's a big one. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah! Posing for you. Battery just ran out because I didn't have my uh, stern light on. I got the GoPro on the YOLO stick, which plugs into the stern light receptacle and gives USB power to the GoPro. Pretty cool tool. Go YOLO! last night there's all kinds of debris in the water this is the snake river oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah look at that look at that holy moly there's got to be 40 in there look at that yeah, some big ones too. Holy moly. Bottom's covered. That's freaking crazy. 
I mean crazy crazy Wow <laughs> Look at that Yeah baby Man that's a haul See the Mike just told me this from Craster I didn't really know but uh, again I'm not sponsored by Craster I do believe in their product otherwise I wouldn't uh, uh, be moderating the Missouri crawfish channel but man that is a nice trap the bait well suspended in the center so that means your bait will last longer they just ain't getting out of this trap so this trap is made for long soaks and to contain the crawfish it's a little harder for the crawfish to get in so you might take a little longer to get the numbers in the fish but once they get in they ain't coming out the lake trap and the creek trap are designed for two hour soaks three four hour soaks and easy access in got the patented flap door hingey thingy and uh the bait the bait wells on the bottom but they could probably get out of that if they tried so but they're so easy access that you can fill these things up in a few hours and i did that last night so anyway two different traps two different functions these are the new little craster floats they're kind of nice small gives you a place to wrap up your cord although the snake river trap has a thing to wrap the cord up on it too which is kind of cool but they're small and they fit inside the trap easy storage easy enough to see but they don't necessarily stick out like a sore thumb either so i think that's a good compromise between visibility and keeping the, keeping the traps. <laughs> but man i love this trap i absolutely love that trap one might be a little too far up in here we'll see I don't know man it feels heavy oh, oh man this is a hauling day oh baby Look at that! Are you kidding me? Oh yeah! Holy moly! Wow! There's some big ones in here too. Wow! 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 Don't you get all caught up in that guy? Man! Oh man! This is one of the best hauls ever. I think maybe the best haul ever. Holy moly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Medium size guys. Oh, look at that. Go stick. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen. That is a hull, folks. I think that trap was sitting cockeyed too. Look at that. Oh, there's got to be 20 or 30 in there. 30. Oh my gosh, that's a hull. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Holy moly. That's one of the best hauls yet, right there. Oh, yeah. That's a normal crawfish. That's a normal one. Oh, 
that is a haul. Heck yeah. A lot of medium sized ones though. Dad's on the floor. Come here, you little bugger. Come here, you little bugger. Man, that's awesome. Woo! Man, there's a eagle back there screeching. Like I said, these are lake traps. They're made for easy in, easy out, easy out kind of thing. Leave them overnight. You don't get quite as many in them, but you see them Snake River traps. We'll get to, we'll load them bad boys up. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That ain't bad. Not bad though. <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. Smaller. Yeah, I think the big guys are getting in and out of there. No, they are. But that's still a good haul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, that ain't bad. I'll take that all day long. All day long. <laughs> yeah, don't get me. importance of your spot, folks. Wash some of that debris off of there. So this bay looks so good, but I don't think there was enough rock back here. Man, the shelf and the... Just, uh, I can't believe that. 
I might have had it in a leaf pile or something because it was debris coming off of it. And they didn't get it out because all the bait's still in there. Huh. Sticking to the main main channel of the lakes or of the river creek arms. Man, I would have bet on that one. But there's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in there. It's probably good. Actually caught a mess of them, didn't we? But uh wow. You know that last trap, you know when I pulled it up it had a bunch of leaves and debris on it. Uh I think as you get closer to the back of these bays, you get that sediment, that leaf sediment from all the trees are so close together that it's just not the right bottom type for them. They like it a little rockier. And I would have swore on that spot because of the good ledge rock on the side. But again, there is, I think there's just too much leaf debris. If you're pulling up a bunch of leaf debris off the bottom and not uh, getting any good numbers out of a good trap like that. You saw the one, holy moly, it was loaded. That one had half a dozen in it or maybe 10 and uh, same trap. So a lot of it is your location. Anyway, we're going to run back home. Actually going to stop at the marina and get some gas and then head back to the dock. We'll see you in a little bit. Folks, we're at Rockline Marina. I think you can see that. Cool little marina. Pretty close to Indian Point, a little closer to the dam. It's got a nice little tiki bar up the hill called the uh, Parrot something or another. But uh, cool little place. Take you in and show you what's going on. So you guys rent boats and stuff here too? Uh, yeah, we do boats. Got pontoons, uh, ski boats, and then we've also got paddle boards and kayaks. Cool, cool. Full service. Yeah. Nice little uh, gift shop. All the amenities for boat stuff. Cool place. Gotta pay my bill. So, this is a full service marina. They come out and pump your gas. What's your name, brother? Eric. Eric. Eric's one of the dock hands here. Pull right up, they tie the boat up for you pump the gas in for you, take good care of you. Don't forget to tip them. So anyway, we're gonna go home and count some crawfish and uh, see what we got.
Wow, what a day, huh? Man, 142 of these bad boys. Wow, we could have done better too if I would have put that last trawfish trap in the right spot, but I'm glad I didn't because I was very close to my limit of 150 a day. But, uh, you know, we've done one of these videos every month since April, and it was slow, and it's slowly gotten better each time, so crawfish trapping season is officially on. And uh, we're going to be doing one more video for the rest of the summer, one more video per month for the rest of the summer. So if you want to see how it progresses, please like and subscribe, and uh, you'll get noted if you hit the icon bell, you'll get notifications every time we come out with a video. The, uh, we will be doing one a month all the way through probably November, December when it starts to shut down to see when the peak is and then when it uh, falls away after the water starts chilling down. So anyway, it was a great day. Thanks for tagging along. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell.